Somehow, Mario had found the strength to cross the desert's sweltering dunes. Just gonna turn the brightness a little bit. Whoops, that wasn't good. Alright. Ahead was a sprawling complex of ruins rising out of the sand. Thankful for the shade, Mario and Tippy ventured deeper inside. They were the they were the very ruins the old man watch it had warned them about. Oh yeah. What dangers lurked in the shady corridors ahead? Chapter 1-4 Monster of the Ruins. Hey what up guys, it's Brandon here, and welcome back to some more Super Paper Mario. So in the last episode, um we were going we were at the old um desert and now we're in the old ruins. So Mario I can feel in this episode we're gonna be in the old ruins. Which is the last part of this um the first chapter. But anyways, Mario, I can feel it calling. The pure heart is nearby. But wait, I sent something else emanting from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. So yeah, we're in the old ruins now. The brightness is kind of bad, so I'm just going to fix that. I know, I'm going to have problems with this. Alright. Okay, we got some squigglets, too. I'm just fixing the brightness right now. Alright, that's good. Oh, we got new enemies. Hang on. No, not the door. Dang it. Alright. This is a buzzy beetle. It's much tougher than it looks. Max HP is 1, attack is 1, defense is 3. Even flames won't scorch its hard shell. Sometimes they cling to the ceiling and drop down on your head when, they, when you walk by. Not very friendly. Buzzy, shame on you. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, just jump on it and do that. Yeah, the, oh, wow, that was close. Alright. I like how it's like, Buzzy, shame on you. Oh, watch out for the fire bars, too. Let me just fix this. That's a fire bar. That is a fire bar. Don't touch it or you'll get burned. Oh, alright, I guess we didn't have to identify it. I mean, I wanted to anyways. Okay, we got a mushroom now. Um, wait, what's up these two places? Alright, move. There's nothing. Hang on. Oh, I was just making sure. Alright. Well then. Just keep moving. Whoops. I'm just wondering what's up here. I'm curious. Because there could be something. Yeah. Yeah, there's a treasure chest. Alright. Or a chest, whatever. Okay, we got a life shroom. So, yeah. That's what you basically need in the game. Like, whenever you're in a tough spot or something. Whenever you're, like, fighting a boss and you just need to restore, like, 5 HP or something. That's what you basically need. Alright, so just dodge these fire bars. Alright, so there's a locked door, right? Um, don't worry about that right now. Alright, here's what you're supposed to do. Wait. Or, yeah, you do this. I first thought I had to identify. No. I just do that, and then you just walk through the door. Like that. Alright. Alright, watch out for these guys. Um, let's identify them. If I can, stupid sensor bar won't work for me whenever I'm recording. Oh, it's a spiky tromp? They're almost like thwomps, but like spiky tromps. For some reason, it enjoys rolling left to right all day. You can't, you can't beat it. You can only avoid it. It will move until it hits a wall. Until it hits a wall, then it will come right back at you. Yeah. So you gotta watch out for those guys. All right. So another chest. Yep, we got the key now. So now we can unlock that door. That's basically what you needed, but... Anyways... Whoa! I didn't mean to use throw. Alright. So yeah, we unlock the door now. So we just go through there. I'm not gonna save our game right now. Because obviously we're recording. Whoa! <clears throat> Crap! Stupid squiglet! Hate them. Thank you. Don't know why they put them right there. Oh, don't worry about that right now. There's something behind there, I think. But you can't do it right now. Um, 
Yeah. Just jump up here. Oops. Alright then. So yeah, um, just go down here. Oh yeah. Squigglets are coming out of there, so. What you need to do is just pick them up and throw it. You like that, yeah. Something happened outside the room. So we're gonna go and check it out. Whoops! <laughs> I fell. By mistake. I also like this music too. Which is... It's pretty nice. Alright. Oh crap. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah. So there's a key right here. So yeah, that's what it actually did. And now... Crap. Stupid tromps. Spiky tromps. Alright. So we can use that. Now we're gonna go through the door. Alright. Um, just gonna check. Alright. Need Tippy again. There we go. There's something there. I'll show it to you. Yep, a, a platform. That's what I thought this was, like, when, when there was, like, a, another door, that other door that you had to, like, flip into 3D to get those kind of... Okay, so... Oh, yeah, this is how you get the key. Just jump over here, and there you go. Not so hard. I'm just gonna check what's over... Okay. Yeah. These fire bars. Alright. Let's check over here. Ah! Yeah, there's a seeker over here that I've always remembered to go to. Just keep moving this way. And then you get a treasure. You get another chest. Which is a Buzzy Beetle card. So yeah, that's where you get the Buzzy Beetle card from when you do this mission. Alright, sorry. <laughs> Almost ran, ran out of, um, you know when I'm in 3D. Alright, so now you go up here, and here's what you're supposed to do. I think you're supposed to, yeah. Do this. In 3D. You're supposed to climb this ladder. No, I'm not ready. Alright, alright. And here's what you can do. Just hit the switch, and I think it unlocks another switch. Yeah. It's this red switch. So, um, oh. Oh yeah, this. You gotta run now. And here's what it does. Just step on that, and then they all fall. There they all go. Wow. Even my Wii remote kept shaking. So yeah, you can just stomp on that. You can just stand on that now. Just make sure. Because there could be some secrets missing in this. I don't know. Oh, I remember this. I forget which ones go first. Probably, yeah, that. Um, that. Oh, no. I'm sure it's this. Yeah, there we go. I forgot what it was, kind of. I knew it was like some, some kind of pattern like that, but here we go. We got this giant staircase. Look at that. It leads all the way to the top. So, we're just gonna go up here. Scene 3D, yeah. Oh yeah, here's when it leads to the boss, so, um... I'm sure we got enough time to fight him, but, you know what, let's just go through. And I think we're ready. So, yeah. Yep, the pipe just... Warning! And look what you get. This is the boss. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Wait, scan initi initialized. Red cap detected, blue overalls detected, level 5 mustache detected, incredible possible subject identification, but it is impossible. 
Hold your position. Searching da data banks. I like how, how it does that with his eye. Search and complete one positive match. System overload. Legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero. I am called Fractale. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass. The courage heart is just ahead. Ah ha ha. It won't be that easy. Oh no. Who speaks? And there's Dementio. So very nice to meet you. And your mustache. I am Count Black Master of Dimensions. The pleasure of crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name Web. I know you. You're that. It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. Yes, much better. Now you and this robot guardian, this robot guardian, can spend some quality, quality time. Yes, quality snack time. When he snacks on you, for you are the snack. Ciao. What do you just? B. I am error. Press any key to restart. System not found. Insert install disk. Disk not found. Please confirm. Discover. Read the error. It just, in no response system may be busier. Uh, application error. Save your work. You lost everything. Way to go, genius. Waiting for processness. Or prop 4 4. Threat level upgrade to jelly roll 1. Den detonation in imminent. Run query identification, run insult and generator results go away. You have the control alt delete. So, yeah, now we're gonna have to fight this guy, which is Fractail, which you know, but um, yeah, um, just wait till he flies like that, yeah. You just gotta wait for him. Um, when he comes like that, dodge it. So yeah. I'm sure that Fractale, yeah, he, he goes that way. Alright. It's going to fly in from the right. I can sense it. You should flip back into 3D. Yeah, so, um, when he does this, you have to jump on him. Like that. And then you're on Fractale. So you have to go up here, and then you get these, um, I think we should identify them first. Hang on. That's Fractale, the robotic guardian of the pure heart. It's quite enormous. Max HP is unknown, attack is one. It could fly and swoop down with its big open mouth. But I think the ant antenna-like horns atop its head is its weak spot. I think you're going to need to use throw to hit it. Yeah, but we're not gonna, we're trying not to identify those. We have these little things though. That's a Fractal. These little defense bots protect Fractale's body. Max HP is one, attack is one. They will attack any intruder they find on their master. They must have been made by the ancients, just like Fractale. So yeah. Wait, whoops, no, no, don't do that. Alright. Yeah, just keep doing that, and he does that. Oh, okay. Now this. If you're lucky enough, you could try to make it back onto his body like that, yeah. But sometimes you have to fall off and you have to start back out. You have to start all over. I mean, you don't have to start like hurting him again like that. I mean, if you fall off, he's gonna be flying around like what we what he did like earlier. Yeah, like all right. Let's see if this will work. Probably not, but um, yeah. Here we go. 
Wow, I didn't know I would be able to make it back on him this time. System crash! Wow, that was fast. That was the fastest Fractail battle I ever done. I'm gonna get it. I have mal malfunctioned. What have I done? Hero, hero, the error is mine. I am sorry. Shame circuit smoldering. Please, you must save our world. Look at that. How does he have bones and he's some, like, he's like a robot, though. Which is kind of weird. Yeah, the frackle just fell. <laughs> and now we got a secret door. Which means we have beaten the boss of chapter one. Already. And that was the fastest fractail boss I ever... I mean, that was the fastest fractail battle I ever done. Usually my the battles were longer because I always fell off on fractail. But, welcome hero. My name is Merlumina. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, that's her right there. I am a dormant soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes, I have been waiting for 1,500 years. Wow, that's a lot of years, dude. I don't know how you waited so long. Your presence, your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yes, they have, in fact. That's why we're here. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well, hero. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization hailed as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Pronosticus. Nobody knows who authorized the Dark Book. It foretold the events of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would de devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a great grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We need something with the pure a sense of love to comfort this chaos. Researchers set to work and they created the purity heart. We divided the purity heart into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a very small incident. At that time, I was young and quite beautiful. It started the day I met two very fetching young men. And you see my life set sail toward the male storm of love. You see, I asked one out, but... However, it was, well, you know, basically, it, and then I said, and he asked, and then, and then she just kept talking nonstop, like that. And that is why we hope the Purity Heart will, will have the power to defeat chaos. To save all worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts that form from the Purity Heart. And that is all I have to say on the matter. Were you listening carefully? Yeah. <laughs> he was just sleeping as well. Excellent! I did tell it the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. Wow, the short version? That was like the long version. It is up to you to find the pure hearts, for they are our last hope and only hope. Go forth, hero, and save the worlds. We are all depending on you. And there's the second pure heart. Which is awesome. So, I think I'm probably going to end the episode right now, so I thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to check out my other videos, and if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. And, um, yeah, be sure to subscribe if you like my videos as well. But, anyways, um, I'll see you all next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and end of chapter. Before disappearing, Merlamina had entrusted Mario to save every world. She said she had waited 1,500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario was in great spirits, but six pure hearts still re re remained to be found, and the journey had just begun. With a flutter, Tippy said, I think we better have returned to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders, 